Namelab. Talking Science. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, success is an iceberg. Whenever we see the iceberg, then we can see only 10% of that one, but the remaining uh, remains under the water. There is a close resemblance of the uh, iceberg with a successful person as well as successful product. Product means anything that is produced by human. So, suppose a person gets a success, then people can see that success, but most of us don't know what happens exactly on the ground level in order to get that success. In the same fashion, a product, a successful product, has to go various phases of its lifespan in order to get designed perfectly, manufactured sustainably, tested correctly, and produced economically and efficiently. But most of us don't concern about these phases. As a manufacturer engineer, I am going to talk about my research, that is laser deposition welding, that could assist us to improve the performance of the system. To compare with a uh, successful human, I am going to take an example of aeroplane, which as a successful product here. So, as we know that today's ideas become tomorrow's product. There are some ideas related to the aeroplane. And the idea is to create an aeroplane that could make our journey uh, more comfortable, uh, faster, and most importantly, safer one. In order to achieve that objective, we need to concentrate on the main component of the aeroplane, and that is the jet engine. And this figure shows the cut view, cut view of the world's most powerful jet engine that is manufactured by General Electric. The components which are exposed to the high temperature and high mechanical loads are turbine and compressor. The materials uh, which are generally used uh, to manufacture such kind of components are titanium and nickel alloys because of their high creep properties at high mechanical loads. But the issue with these materials is that these are very difficult to cut through the conventional processes. But as we already know that innovation is the key to overcome the challenge. And here uh, comes the laser deposition welding. <laughs> this figure on the left, uh, this one, uh, E. E figure uh, shows the principle of laser deposition welding, uh, wherein we can, uh, the laser beam uh, melts the base material along with filler material. The main characteristic of the process is that it makes the a microstructure very fine, and the size of carbides is very small one, which improves the toughness and hardness of the component, which make the component to work or push their performance uh, beyond the uh, existing conditions that we have seen here in the jet engine. And on the right hand side, we see the microstructure of the titanium alloys, where we see the small carbides and having a great toughness and hardness. Uh, so. This is the potential of laser deposition welding. Uh, if we make small changes at micro level, that is in the microstructure, having small carbide size, then we can see a big impact at a macro level, that is in the aeroplane, and this is called butterfly effect. Thank you. <laughs> 